Muscle Sport TV, the most jacked and tanned show on the fucking internet. What's up, guys? Dave Goyce, aka Comerica Muscle, with the owner of Muscle Sport Man, Joe Piatro, and Steve Shoesmith, one of the OGs of the 5% Nutrition Crew. What up, guys? So, we want to talk about the impact that Rich had you had on you personally because I know for a fact you guys were like best friends. Well, not really best, like from a distance because I'm, I'm actually from, I actually moved from LA to the UK. I've lived in the UK for about 20 years. How it came about with Rich was I was, uh, he was with Mutant and I was with CNP, Chemical Nutrition uh, in the UK and I, I, fuck, I was just as unhappy as him. Like, I had the same mindset as him, but we didn't really know each other. But, you know, um, and when he left, I started like emailing him and stuff like that, because we're so far apart. And I've got the original tops that he used to sell, him and his girlfriend Chanel. Uh, Chanel, love you. <laughs> um, oh, she's lovely, Chanel. Um, but this is, a, this is a tragedy for me in the respect. I'm not greedy, and I'll be straight with you. I don't go to funerals. Don't go to weddings. I'm not emotionally really attached. If like somebody, some like, you know, it, it's a cycle of life sort of thing yeah. for me. You know, I've never been to a gravesite, nothing like that. But at the end of the day, that that really hit me for hard when I, you know, I found out at ten past seven UK time, and he, I got the, you know. I got cut and, and said he, he passed 10 minutes ago and it's really hit me. Um, I can't really describe it. It was like, you know, the life was just sucked out of me. And not just for myself, but I kept, not for just for myself, I think all the, the, and I'm saying millions, all right? All you internet haters out there, all y'all go fuck yourselves. But this man, and I genuinely mean this guys, this man, all I kept thinking about is, oh my God, the impact that he made, that Rich made on certain people's lives, and I'm talking about millions of people, whether they whether they were into bodybuilding, into business, uh, you know, they were a fucking, they became a microbiologist because they, they watched Rich's videos. Um, and the thing is, is that I, I'm not a fan of social media at all. Mm -hmm. I'm just not. I'm sorry. I'm just not. I'm 49 years old. Mm, not a facelift. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I'm 49 years old. I've been lifting for a long time. I've been in this industry a long time. And there's no one, and I mean no one, none of these professional bodybuilders, you know, that think they're all that and a box of fucking chocolates that this is my opinion though that has impacted people's lives as much as rich piano and i genuinely hand on heart and i'll tell all you viewers out there i i fucking miss him so much this face is like this at the moment because i haven't stopped crying and i'm a fucking big ass man and i just he just i i can't comprehend at the moment that he's not here. It just doesn't, it's okay. Okay, I, I honestly thought, in my mind, on the day I thought, like uh, on that day, because my wife had to come, I was at a coffee shop and I got it. And now it was about two o'clock in the morning, time in the UK, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, I was at local coffee shop and I just collapsed. I had to be sedated, taken to everything. And I'm not joking, this actually happened. My wife could confirm this. Um, I just thought to myself, all these millions of people are going to be disappointed that he's gone because he's changed so many people's lives. Yeah, and people in this industry, in this little bubble, were they, they didn't like him because he told the fucking truth. And I'll tell you why I wanted to be part of the team with him more than anything is because I personally felt liberated. I do fucking steroids, not at the moment. I did it for years. I'm normally 285 fucking pounds. I took st I've taken steroids for fucking years. And because he finally told the truth, I became liberated. <laughs> does, does that make sense? Yeah. Absolutely. It, was a giant it makes sense. Obviously. You know, I didn't have to fucking lie anymore to all my friends. It made it okay to It made it yeah. okay yeah. to tell the truth. It made it okay to finally say, I don't want to work for a company and be on a company's poster and I'm not going to mention the company's name. Um, I did mention the company's name anyways. 
CMP. <laughs> you know, um, be on their posters and shit, selling their stuff with a protein shake in my hand. I have to drink it, and then the next day I'm having the shits for a week. And I'm being honest. It just so he, as a man, how how did you promote that stuff? Like knowing it's shit because just because they mean, paid me. Ah, yeah, I got okay. paid. So, I mean, if, if I got you, paid. You have to do what you got to do. Yeah, yeah. I, I got paid. Um, my final straw with that sort of company um, was the fact I was going to seminars and I was going to different gyms and I was having 18 year old children and I call them children um, I was in my well I was in my late 30s when I started doing all the seminars and stuff uh, asking me the first question that comes out of their mouth is what gear do I have to take to get big <coughs> You're f how long have you been lifting for? <laughs> Three weeks. It doesn't work like that, you know. Um, so I had to leave as well. And the company I was working for, that, that was sponsored by, I found out that they were sold by a dog food company. People, protein shakes. The company, and it's huge in the in, in Europe in the United Kingdom. They sold it to a fucking dog food company. So your protein shakes from that company were coming from a dog food company. Literally one to the it, dogs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The yeah. expression. Yeah. <laughs> um, but for Rich, it, it was just a, it, it's a breath of fresh air, wasn't it? Yeah. No. You know, and it's, it, I can still feel them. Um, I've never been impacted like this, like crying and really genuinely upset that somebody's gone. What year did you join 5%? Oh my God, it's been over well over three years now basically like from yeah the beginning, like you were yeah well this is the original talk yeah i had the original shorts everybody today at the olympia we're going um all the five percenters here which i love these guys very much honestly i flew all the way from the uk to meet this gentleman this gentleman with that handsome bugger behind there <laughs> and that handsome bugger over there uh, but no all the five percenters right I, I i don't have the time to do this i've got a pregnant wife i've got a six-year-old i've got a manic life but i want i thought fuck it i wanted to come over here this was the last expo that rich organized himself he wanted it all sorted out himself and i thought fuck it i'm gonna come over and meet all you guys and I've had a I've had a great time, and I can actually feel. It sounds really creepy, but I actually feel them here, and especially with Chanel here. Chanel, I love you to bits. I really hope you watch this. You're just you're awesome. Chanel Rene, by the way, is the one that designed these for Rich. All the original tops, everything. Chanel did that with Rich. All right, um, and I, I I miss him. There's something missing out of this now. When you walked, when I went to the Olympia, and I'm sure you guys, we all rolled up at the Olympia. If they, if, if they felt like there's something fucking missing. No, absolutely. We we talked yeah. about it yesterday. Today is now Saturday. Friday night, the place was dead. Was we we walked through that place, and you could feel the soul was taken out of it. Now, Joe and I had the privilege on Friday morning to go to Denny's with you guys. Yeah. Uh, Caleb did an awesome tribute. Caleb yeah. did an incredible um, tribute. I, I was not friends with Rich. I right. mean, he was not, I can only want to say an acquaintance. He just did, you know, did me a solid on my YouTube channel once. So I met him, but he was, he had an impact on people. Oh, yeah, no, negative, yeah, I'm not being but, selfish saying this no, is all about me. No, but when me. Caleb did that tribute, <laughs> yeah. you, I actually felt him there. That was such a heavy moment for I me. I was crying my eyes out in front of Chanel there as well. She, yeah. I set her off, she set me well, off. Thank you the guys for having me there. That no, was, no, 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 cool. guys, I, I, I appreciate it all. Guys, you gotta follow Muscle Sports Mag, and I'm not getting paid to say this. They're really, really good. No, you, you I am absolutely yeah, blessed yeah. <laughs> to meet this guy. And the first person I started following, because Rich begged me, and Jens Dalsgaard begged me to do it um, social media. You have to do that to get it, get to get yourself get out yourself your, sure. yourself out there. Yeah. And and I said, yeah, but I, I don't want to. And he said, well, if. You, I, we beg, please do it, please. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, fuck's sakes, yeah, all right then. And because it, it, social media is a double edged sword for me, um, people are aware of the products, irrespective if Rich is here or not at the moment. And I love, I love them to bits, honestly. The fact that the products are actually really good. <laughs> I'm throwing my hands out there. If you haven't tried 5% stuff, it is actually really. Hang on a minute. Oh. I'm thirsty. All day you may. <laughs> I hate telling you that. Plug. Plug. <laughs> mm. 
Say 15% if you use the code word Chewy. <laughs> Chewy, yes. Yes. Oh, um, but, you know, he made a huge impact. I know, like, he, and because he was honest, a lot of people fucking hated him. Because a lot of people want to keep everything in the dark in dark. this industry. Absolutely. You want to absolutely ignore now, that. Exactly. That exactly. That, before you know, Rich came, before Rich and I ever came to, you know, I fucking pissed a lot of people off in this industry in 2006. And I told people what <laughs> IFBB International. I told them right on fucking stage when I thought about the judges, the politics, and all that stuff, and I lost my pro card. You know, <laughs> I'm just being honest. You know, and that's why I like about that. It's the fact that Rich was honest and he impacted so many people, you know, um, to change their lives, you know. But you know what, the important thing is that you guys came together. Yeah. This is really very recently, obviously, what happened with Rich passing. But you guys are all here together, yeah. carrying on the tradition that yeah. he started. So yes. that's the main thing. And you guys can continue because Caleb and I were talking and me and you were talking. You know, all you guys, all weekend we've been talking. And you guys aren't, this isn't like a swan song. You guys aren't no, going No, 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 fuck, fuck no. You guys where, are where do you see on? yourself going now? Now now that Rich is gone and he's he started that legacy, he's got, he's got an impact in this industry. Without, hands down, he's done more for this sport of bodybuilding fitness than current Mr. Olympia, Phil Heath. Oh, yeah. Which, oh, which is yeah. a jerk off. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He's yeah. not even marketable. Yeah. But you have Rich that was just his personality. He was bigger than life. So now, where do you see 5% Nutrition going? Rich left the list, all right? We have products that he wanted finished, mm -hmm. and this is a fact, all right? He had a list of products that he, because we were chanting at Body Power, we were really good like that, but from a distance, because yeah. I lived in the UK, he lived in LA, then yeah. Florida, we we're on the, and, and all that, right? He had a list, I can't tell you what's there, Guys, you're going to be surprised. He had a list, and his legacy is still here because that list is going to be you finished. Guys are going to get that stuff. We're going to get, get that stuff, stuff done. Yeah. All right, and um, <laughs> we were actually talking about we 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 had the uh, original Dickie shorts because I'm obsessed with Dickies. I love Dickie shorts. If Dickies wants to sponsor me, I'll represent <laughs> your shit. We can't get Dickie shorts in the UK. And he's only asking for a ten percent. I'm only a ten. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But um, I'm trying to keep this up. All right. Uh, and we, ch we chatted about that. Yeah, Steve, I can't wait. We're getting Volcom shorts. We're getting them back. Steve, I promise you, they're on the list. And Chanel told me today they're getting done. It's stuff like that. Yeah. Right? That we all together had ideas and what we wanted to, to um, in retrospect, like to continue his legacy. But there is a list. I can't say what it is. Mm -hmm. All right, it's top secret. But um, but the stuff will be will be done, will be, yeah, and we'll continue on, there. guys. It, it, I I went to that Olympia. I do I do a lot of um fit fit fitness places, but I'm so busy at like our booze and stuff. I can't actually go out to have a shit. I have to. It's that I'm not kidding. Yeah, shit your pants. Yeah. Yeah. It's Ooh. that, especially in the UK. A lot. Uh, I, even I get stopped for fucking autographs. I'm like, what the fuck am I? I'm some fucking native. You know what I mean? <laughs> I can't ask ask anybody. In the UK. It's uh, fucking body powers, insane. Um, uh, you know, I've that there. The, the we'll have a five percent booth there. We'll have a five percent booth in Fibo. It's not going to stop. It's going to carry on. His face is on the products. He did the products. Um, you know, and he changed a lot of people's lives. And he definitely you've did got, yours. and he changed my life. You can tell by the way you're being emotional as you're just, yeah. you know, recapping. You all know, of this stuff. just give me a sec. I was gonna, you know, something. Uh, I got, I got really sick and tired. Like uh, Joe, you've been around as long as I have. You know, you, you know, you get really sick of this fucking industry. Yes. You know, <laughs> and all the bullshit. You yeah. Know? Uh, I went to anyways. I went to that fit the the Olympia bit where these guys were, and I just walked around. For, I was looking for you actually. I was walking around for two minutes, and there's all these gym rats. They're throwing fucking protein shakes at them like that. And they're fucking like going ah, free shit. Yeah. It is. Just, yeah. I can't get my head around that. Yeah. You know, and they're still going for protein shakes. They're still going for protein bars. They don't fucking work. They don't work. Ejaculoid works though. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So <laughs> now you have the camera. Let's close this up. Give your final thoughts on this is your platform right now. Close up the video on how you want to leave a statement. Um, from everybody, on behalf of myself, all the 5% nutrition athletes, all the 5%ers from Richard Langley, who had a cake made for his birthday yesterday with Richard's face on it, to the guy that is, the, the, you know, somebody suffered depression out there and Rich saved their life, don't worry, he's with you guys. I really mean that. Um, and uh, I genuinely miss him like you wouldn't believe. Um, I'm not gonna go into all the personal shit, why he impacted my life. I've talked about it, I had, I had an interview yeah. with you before. Um, I'm going to actually, today is, what day is it today? 16th. 16th, I've also flew over. This was all planned beforehand, like um, Rich said, oh, I'm doing the Super League thing, are you coming? And I went, well, I won't be able to go fucking nowhere next year, so, uh, because we're having a baby. Yeah. So my wife for my birthday basically said you can go to like yeah you can go to Vegas when Rich was alive so I didn't actually plan to go to his gravesite but I'm driving to LA tomorrow morning I'm gonna go to the um, Forest Hills uh, he's buried down by Carrie Fisher lucky bugger <laughs> <laughs> he would have thought that was funny he would have really thought that was funny uh, go down to see him tomorrow. I'll post up a video about it guys, but um, I, we we really appreciate Everything that you do and I genuinely believe Martin Ford is Now the face of the company. He's not rich piano. I'm not rich piano rich piano was rich piano All right, he was him. All right, but we're gonna continue on um, continue killing it and uh, we really appreciate your support. And guys, he's he's with us all the time. All right, I'm not a spiritual guy or anything, but I, it just feel. Did you get what I'm saying? I, I felt it at Denny's. It's I just felt it at Denny's. Weird, wasn't that weird? No, it was very. Like I, I literally had a sick feeling in my stomach when the first time that I actually met him, when he grabbed me by the neck and he went, "Steve, come with me." I'm like, "What the fuck is that?" <laughs> Fucking giant ass shovel on me. You're coming with me. I said, oh, fuck. You know, it felt like that. I felt I was sick to my stomach, but he, it felt like he was there. You know, guys, I, I just want to say on behalf of the 5% attrition family, these guys, just keep killing it, all right? Keep supporting the company. It's not going anywhere, all right? If you believed in Rich, you believe the fact that he was had the products he has are really good. I, I think they're really good. All right, or else I'm, I'm too old to fucking bullshit. They're so good, I, I still use them to this day. I use most of them every day. So, you know, um, I just want to thank these two guys for just interviewing me. I've, I've flown all those way just for an interview. I'm not gonna pay for this. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna buy me a stripper tonight. <laughs> His name is Alfred. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we here at Muscle Sport Mag appreciate the time. No, and thank you, thank you, thank you. I apologize if I'm a bit no. like, it's good. Really, it's this good. face is normally better than this. <laughs> I haven't stopped crying for about two weeks. So, Steve Shoesmith, 5% Nutrition for Muscle Sport TV. Peace. Check it out, guys. Right here, HotStuffNutritionals.com. The company you know and love from way back when. All you guys that are in my age group and even some of you younger bucks, you guys know all about Hot Stuff right here. This is my personal favorite. The banana flavored testosterone potentiator maximum strength formula right here. This is an amazing product right here. It's been around for a long time and there's a reason why. But they don't fuck around over Hot Stuff Nutritionals. They also have Glandol. Now this is something a lot of you guys overlook. All the shit that everybody in this wacky fucking world and industry and lifestyle take you got to take care of your glands. Flood your body with over 80 hormone-boosting factors right here with Glandol from Hot Stuff Nutritionals. Maximum strength raw gland complex. Sports performance. Increase power and strength. Boost energy and endurance. And increase exercise muscle recovery. If you're not going to recover, you're not going to be able to hit it hard the next day. So make sure you go to Hot Stuff nutritionals.com right now and order both of these today.